hello, hello, hello! It is Ray Tana Station here, and today it is Friday, September 21st. Yesterday was Thursday, September 20th, the last day of the Playing with Fire fan art contest. Yes, and I have come up with the winners very difficultly. Difficultly. Oh, well, fine then. Just go ahead and change on me, desktop. Anyway, yeah, okay, so this is what went down. So I had a folder dedicated to possible winners, and I went through them and difficultly had to choose three. I actually narrowed it down to like six of them, and then I narrowed it down to four. And then I was like, well, shit, fuck my life. And at last, I narrowed it down to three. And I chose the first place winner, but the second and the third place winner, I was like, oh, God, I can't choose. Eventually, I ended up, you know, putting them in places and such. So, before we get started, I just want to say that just because you weren't chosen as a winner, does that mean that I wasn't thoroughly impressed by your entry? It does not mean that you weren't good enough, it does not mean that I didn't like it, it does not mean that you didn't do well. Like I said, I had a very tough time choosing these winners, and I really wish I could give a prize to, to everybody. I just, but, you know, there's just so much one human being can do. Um, so, I mean, don't feel sad that you didn't win, okay? Love you. And there's gonna be more contests, so no worries. Goddamn garbage truck outside! <laughs> what the fuck? Anyway, so let's do this, shall we? We're gonna go from third place to first place. Um, first, I need to bring up my journal so I can remember what the prizes are, because... Uh, is there anything after a super albino llama? <laughs> okay. Oh my god, cake. Okay. So, the third place winner will get to be a cameo in Playing With Fire. This means you will have to reveal to me how you look, whether it's in a photo or a drawing of yourself. So you can draw yourself if you don't want to show yourself. You will also need to list common attributes of yours. Do you wear a certain accessory, like, all the time? Uh, how do you wear your hair? What color do you wear more? You may also ask me one question that I'll answer in a video. What would you do for, for a Klondike bar? Um, so, like, my character always wears a headband. A black headband. Black headband. Anatir always wears a white headband. Koda always wears... Back button isn't working. Koda always wears a beanie. You know. Stuff like that. What do you always wear? What makes you distinguished? Oh my god, look at that thing, it's so cute. Anyway, so here's the third place winner. Lizard Bat, you have won third place. <sighs> Garbage truck. Somebody take a bazooka <laughs> and shoot the garbage truck. <laughs> anyway, Lizard Bat, you have won third place. I really like this because it's just, it's, when I saw it, I was just like, oh, it's, it's, it's so cute, and it's just, it's so, it's so stylized, I love how stylized it is, and the rainbow is so cute, and it's just the, the color scheme is just beautiful, you just really captured, just whoosh, colorful, and, and, and the faces, oh my god, Zim's face, oh, it's so cute, I want to make an icon out of that, just be like, oh, no! <laughs> oh, it's so cute. So I was very impressed by this um, lizard bat. So, ja, ja, ja! Let me know how you want your character in Playing With Fire to look as a cameo, and congratulations for third place, lizard bat. It's so kawaii. <laughs> I just love everything about it, okay? Okay, I just love it. <laughs> Next! I'm gonna close that. Second place winner, 
you will get to request a drawing from me, just like the previous contest. Remember, again, I am limited to my drawing abilities, so if, some, so if it's something I can't draw, I'll ask you kindly to choose something else. For instance, I cannot draw realistically, nor am I very good at building, so like if you ask me to draw the Eiffel Tower, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> um, and like, I don't know, just certain things, I mean, I'm gonna kill that garbage truck. Yeah. I can't draw horses. Of course, all these random things like the horses and an Eiffel Tower, you probably won't ask me to draw. Or maybe, like, a horse on top of the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> so, second place winner. I am Invader Sim. Yes. Absolutely. Positively. Too much awesome right here. Too much awesome when I saw this. I was like, holy motherfucking shit, now I know the contest is going to be very hard to judge. Fuck your donkeys. <laughs> Too fucking awesome. So what I really like about this one is that, you know, obviously, fire is incorporated. Hmm, imagine that. And the shading, the shading, the texture, the glows, the magnificence of it all, and the background is just nothing but pure black so it's like nothing is distracting you from this not only that but the fire is making you focus on them it's like hey look we're kinda circling the subject here focus your attention on this but we're also fire so we're kinda like background dancers and so I also like that she did her best to replicate mad drawing style and I love it and I think, I think that it should be made into a wallpaper. Maybe if it was cropped, like, crop this part off and then make it a wallpaper. Okay, so that is I Am Invader Sim. All right, you ready for this one? First place winner. Yes. This is happening. Okay. So, the first place winner will get to choose one and only one of the following. A free Slenderman t-shirt like the one that I made for myself. So basically it's just a white t-shirt with a bunch of scribbles on it done in acrylic paint so that when you wash it it won't, you know, come off or anything. The scribbles are uh, replicated from things like marble hornets and, you know, just stuff that you see, you know, operator symbols, um, you know, he's watching you and such like that um, or a free shirt of your choice from my Spreadshirt shop the link to said shop is on my DA page so I have I don't have a lot of shirts in my Spreadshirt shop right now but you can choose which one you want and I shall purchase it and send it to you therefore it being free for you or a poster of the playing of fire cover I don't know how big yet, I guess just traditional poster size, you know, just poster size. Um, or a poster of my cartoon character or others, basically you can go into my cartoon folder and tell me which one you want as a poster and if you want a colored, you know, such and such. Um, plus you will receive a candy bar of your choice as long as it's one that I can find. If you do not want candy, just let me know. Um, that's optional. I mean, obviously, if you don't want candy, I'm not going to send you candy. Um, I've never sent candy via mail before so I don't exactly know how careful they are with such things because I know sometimes the post office is like meh 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 throw package break glass that was a very um, expensive vase that you just broke thank you for breaking it you stupid post office um so anyway it's just a roundabout way of saying I hate sauerkraut the first place winner will need to be comfortable with giving me their address so I can send them their prize I will promise that I will try not to spend a fortune on a plane ticket to come and find you. So, first place winner! Da 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 da! Zubikawa. Or Zub. Zub. Zubikawa. Zubikawa. Sorry. Totally butchered that. Zubikawa. Okay. So, when I was going over the fan art, I had come across, you know, obviously the original sketch of this fucking already said how much I loved it. 
and I was like, oh, that's awesome. And then <laughs> when this was put up, I was like, oh, god damn, fuck my life with bees. This sucks because it was so goddamn good that I was like, shit snacks. <laughs> Too much pressure. <laughs> okay, but oh my god, I just, I love this so much. I love, obviously, I already said in the fan art video that I loved the stylizedness, the, the, the tall and the skinny and the just the amazing and the erg and the hair and the rarg. <laughs> and I love the shading and I love the, the fire blending, you know, kind of into the, the playing with fire logo and just the, oh god. <laughs> it's just so awesome. I just love it so much. I just, I do. I do. It's just, I, the no words, no words can really explain. It's just so cute. This would actually make a cool wallpaper too if it was extended to the sides. So yeah. And the spots that he fired it does a bunch of fire. I love it. Okay. So those are the winners. I will um, send you guys messages telling that you that you won and such. And I will also post it in a journal. So. Thank you, thank you very much for contributing to the Playing With Fire contest. What we're going to do now is we're going to go over the other entries. Hooray! So, yep, think about all the stuff about the prizes and the stuff that I told you and stuff. Okay, now we're going to see why exactly I had trouble choosing who's going to win and stuff. So, this is 27 Panel Lover. Um, once there was a green apple on a tray, just minding his own business, when suddenly he was propelled off the tray onto the floor. Freedom! The apple squeaked. Of course, no one heard him. He didn't budge until a black Nike kicked him hard. He went flying across the floor, past two open doors, out into the outside world. He rolled down a gray sidewalk, onto the grass. He kept on rolling. He came upon a hill. Since he is an apple, he couldn't stop, so he went tumbling down the hill, hitting a few bumps here and there. Unfortunately, the hill turned into a cliff. The apple flew off the cliff and into a blue portal. He fell into something black and fuzzy. He, imme bleh, bleh, bleh. he immediately rolls out when he finds out that he landed into a patch of fake mustaches. <laughs> Please draw that. <laughs> he kept on rolling past a giant tank of human-sized sea monkeys, cats with horns, and an ocean of pink flounder. <laughs> um, he comes upon a rainbow road. He finds that he can control where he ro- where he roads, where he rolls. So, being the curious green apple he is, rolls down the rainbow road. He stops in a meadow, admiring the sunset. A sharp pain goes through his face as a huge chunk of it is taken away. He decided that this is the end of his life. After all, he is a delicious apple, just waiting to be eaten. The pain hurts, but only one more chomp and he is gone, living in stomach acid forever. After whatever was eating him finished chewing, it took another bite, finishing off the apple. The apple core lay lifeless on the ground. The end of life didn't seem so bad. Yes, it did. Er, wait. Yes, it did burn, but after you get used to it, it doesn't feel so bad. Meanwhile... A unicorn munched happily on a green apple watching the sunset. <laughs> An orange leprechaun danced happily in the background. The end! <laughs> I think she is the only one who wrote something. But it was very entertaining to me. <laughs> Alright, next. Toxic Rainbow. This made me lol. <laughs> like, seriously. like <laughs> Zim, that's what you get for experimenting on such a high-class octopus such as Goldie Puss. <laughs> Run! Run! <laughs> oh, I miss Goldie Puss. I really need to get the Dragon Ball so I can wish him an OMFG dinosaur back to life. And this, oh my god, this was one of the ones that I was like, oh, I'm torn between a blah blah blah. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> and I, <laughs> so this is Ten Yearsy. Love, la 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 love, the drawing style, especially the eyes. The eyes are what get me. It's so, so cute, so lovely, so awesome. Love it. Ah, love it, love it, love it. <laughs> anyway, oh, it's a gift. 
Hang on. Zoom in! <laughs> so it's like, hey! Hey! Kiss! Oh god! That happened! <laughs> okay, and this was a plushie. What? Where? Okay, that's the back of a plushie by Jasper Rules. Where's the front of the plushie? There it is! There's the front of the plushie by Jasper Rules. It's like only the. There's only one other contest entry that had to do with plushies, which I am very impressed at the plushie making. I need to make plushies too, but I don't have time. Plushie, 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 plushie. So that was the. That's the back. The back of the plushie. The little back. The back of the back. And then. Happy birthday, Dib. Z Zim is in the cake. <laughs> Zim is inside the cake. And judging by Dib's face, oh by the way, this is from Invader Michaela. Judging by Dib's face, I think he's kind of um suspicious about a birthday cake. Like, oh, I've got a really bad feeling about this. I love the face on the shirt, it's just like the face also knows that there's something bad gonna happen. Horribly bad. <laughs> Happy birthday, Dib! The Dibster. Um This is Wait, is that, is that your DA name? M-M-F-G-D-S-C-P-I. Mmm, forget to speak. <laughs> I don't know. I really liked this. Oh my god, look at Tim's little face. Tim looks so little and cute and just so tiny. He's just so tiny. I like this one because of one background. It's just really pretty. I like the wind. Whoosh. He's just so little and so kawaii. Next, this was uh, Mish, uh, Misha Malice Caged. So it's like, oh crap, hi, my name is Dib, and now I'm sort of a slave to an alien, while at the same time he's sort of a slave to me. It's really hard, it's a very complicated relationship, but it's pretty much that I'm a slave to him because, because, because he wants me to have sex with him all the time, and like, and like, I don't really have a choice, because he promised me that he wouldn't take over the earth, and it's like totally for the sake of mankind, and not totally because I want to totally have sex with him. No, it's not like that at all. Anyway, so I'm in a bird cage, <laughs> And the look, that just, that look that Zim always gives when he's feeling cocky, he's just like, yeah, I'm Zim, biatch. It's <laughs> only not how either of them talk, but whatever. Um, Freedom Apple by Kuratha. Sha sha sha! Freedom! Nobody notices the Freedom Apple anymore. <laughs> and now the Freedom Apple has an official cartoon character. Okay, this is Homicidally Insane. I like this one because they're tied together by a bow. It's like I would totally do that if I had like mini little tiny like if I shrunk Zim and Dib and they were little and I had them and they were alive and such, I took a bow, and I tied around them and be like, you will stay together forever, or, or, you two are not allowed to leave each other's side until you make out enough to where I am satisfied, ten years later. Still not satisfied! <laughs> this is, and I love the shine on Dib's glasses and on Zim's eyes. It's just so cute! So kawaii! Okay, next! This is... Mr. Liz Mindsoon. Yeah, Mr. Liz Mindsoon. So this is a, um... Okay, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but it's based off of, um, in Chapter 4, um, in Detention, when Dib first kisses Zim in the detention chamber. <laughs> so it's like, Zim like, what the fuck? Oh, why, what, what, ah, oh, what? I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> Next is, this is, The Last Helsing. I love you, big-headed human boy. The little Zim is totally in the same pose as Flippin in, um, Parent Teacher Night. When <laughs> little, little Smeet Zim goes, I love you, cold unfeeling robot arm. <laughs> and I like the fire in the background, too. What's really cool is, I kind of just noticed this, it's like it looks like fire over here and then kind of fades out to colorless, so it sort of looks like rain clouds with lightning. Sh-sh-sha, bitches! 
Like, why is Zim so tiny all of a sudden? <laughs> um, next. This is from Jokini. I was very amused by this, and this is what kind of gave me the idea to do, um, um, Hollywood pillow pillowcases when I finally do it. So, obviously, it's the Hollywood pillow with Freedom Apple just sitting, chilling on his, on his belly, on the pillow belly. Yeah. It's like, hey, sup, HP, we're gonna totally go see My Little Pony on ice! Dude, it'll be bomb! And Hollywood Pillow is just like, hey, free, free diddle libster, I just want to chillax on my staycation. <laughs> so, um, since I haven't done very many comics with um, HP and FA yet, um, so obviously Freedom Apple calls him HP. Hollywood Pillow, he does whatever he can, he does a different thing with Freedom Apple's names, like, uh, Free Diddle Domage, Free Diddle Libsty, uh, Free, Friedel, Friedelies, Friedel Duda, you know, stuff like that. Um, Avery Lilith. I really like this one, cause, you know, this one kinda looks like a movie poster, or a movie cover, and I love how they're both thinking about each other kissing, it's just so cute. And then I'm over here! Giving you the peace sign, bitches. It's just, just, just so awesome. And the colors too. The colors are really bright, really, really. And that is a bright ass yellow marker. Where the hell did you get such a bright ass yellow marker? <laughs> He's so cute. This is going to be painful. The thingy. So this is from Super Soldier. Super Soldier. This is the thingy. He's totally gonna stick his giant thingy into Dip. <laughs> And it's gonna be painful. <laughs> I love how innocent he looks. He's just like, yeah, this is gonna hurt. Whatever. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> this is from Penguin of Awesome. I love your name. Penguin of Awesome. So it's just a bunch of like little doodles based on stuff in the comic. <laughs> Did you get the death call? Hollywood pillow. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, kiss, I love kiss. And thingy, what thingy? There we go. Sorry, it's a little blurry, so I'm trying to figure out what it says and such. Freedom apple. Um, what? What are you? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't read it because it's blurry, but it's cute. And then I know that one says "thank it even." I think because that's his "thank it even" face. And then in the detention chamber, oh. Word. Next. This is from Zimix Dib. I think it's cute because they're holding hands and Dib is like looking away like <laughs> and Zim is just like looking down like uh, this is totally not happening but it totally is. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just the whole denial aspect. They're just like we're only doing this because um because our hands are glued together. Yes, that's the reason. Hate you, Zim. <laughs> this is from. God damn it, it's hot in here. Sorry. This is from Julichi. Really like this one. Because not only that, the shading in the eyes, but also the fire hands. Fire hands. It's just like. For whatever reason, I just got a vision of Zim and Dib getting into an epic Dragon Ball Z battle with fireballs. But they're also holding hands. <laughs> so it's like, unity, and I still hate you. But but I want to I wanna fuck you so bad. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> Moving on. This is um, Ma Mouse Flower. This was from the scene in Chapter 1 <laughs> in Rain. I am a man! Really? <laughs> Do you even have genitalia? I like this one because it's it's so pen sketchy, but it still has color. Like, you can barely see it, but it has like the lightest, lightest of color. And it just, it looks like it's something you would find in a newspaper to me. That's what it kind of looks like to me. And it's really, really cute. And I like that it's, you know, all scribbly and stuff. And this was one of the um, ones that I had trouble deciding and stuff. So, continuing on. This is from Aurora521. So, I don't remember which one was which, but I think there's um, 
think they were in Gur and Zim or in tanks or something. I don't remember exactly what they said about their entry in this description. Um, that says Gur, that's Zim over there, and stuff. I assume that's Dib because of his little scythe hair stuff, and that's Zim because he's green or something. I think so. And then the heart and stuff. And stuffy. And then this was Gamma Girl 13. Their, like, movie poster is uh, Dib from the from Chapter 5 when Zim's son doing his pants. And then the Zim's <laughs> then get even face. It's just a, such a lovely face. So, playing with fire movie movie poster. It was in theaters yesterday! Holy shiznit, why didn't I see it? Anyway, just kidding. <laughs> and then here's the other plushies. These were also in my, oh crap, how do I fucking judge this? These are really awesome. Holder. Um, plushies? Not just plushies, you guys. Plushy fucking keychains. It is so fucking awesome. And they're in the same poses as on the cover. Um, the comic, uh, the co comic cover and stuff. And it's so, so cute. They are so cute. I just, it makes me really want to make plushies, but I'm like, God damn it, I don't really have the time or energy to do such things right now. What the fuck was that? Anyway, next. Oh God, I knocked over my mic. Um, this was Thomas Barron's. Um, so basically they're thinking about each other, but they don't. It's like, there's no way he could ever know. Oh, or oh dib, oh, oh dib. Oh dib, if you only knew. It's like, eh, I, yes, I totally hate you. I totally, I don't really hate you. No, I totally really hate you. But you'll never know that I don't. Shut up! Eat waffles. Do things. <laughs> so I think that's cute. Because they're thinking about, you know, this is, uh, that was the front of the plushie. Um, this is Bye Bye My Eyes. <laughs> I like this one too. Because it's like, <laughs> in me, and controlling them as puppets. Like, <laughs> doo -dee -doo -dee -doo -dee -doo. this is what Zim and Jim do. Doo -dee -doo -dee -doo. Going into the city. Doo -dee -doo -dee -doo. Gonna see a rainbow. Doo -dee -doo -dee -doo. Gonna make out. What? Who said that? <laughs> He's so cute. I really just, I really like the way the Bye Bye My Eye does his eyes. It's just really awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And stuff. And that was when I had orange hair. Totally makes me want to make puppets of them. And then the script and the comic pages and a pen in the background. City and a rainbow and the sun. And it's awesome. Awesome. And then this is from Zade. Z A D E Zade 18989. <laughs> so basically, Dib. He's in his room. You can see the shadow puppet, um, the Five Heads of Liquid Styrofoam um, poster in the background. This Dib. He's what he's doing is he's looking at his computer screen because he has a spy camera in Zim's um, in Zim's lab, and and apparently Dib was playing Slender in the background. That is totally my screenshot of I Love Wall. <laughs> so he's he's playing Slender in the background. He probably just now died because he's too busy focusing on Zim <laughs> and Zim is observing, 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 Goldie Puss. And apparently it's 1.26 a.m. In the morning, repressed memories. Anyway, um, this was Nanami, or sorry, Invader Nanami. And I really like this one too. And I was like, duh, why, goodness, why? And totally, totally chick figure going on here. I kind of like to try to make Zim have like hips too, cause I'm like, he's an alien. And I don't know about you, but aliens with slim girlish figures are kind of hot. <laughs> so that's the Zimster. Zim. You were doing graffiti! How dare you! Bad Zim! Bad! Zim's all like, they don't tell me what to do, I am Zim! Okay, next. Let's make this up. Sorry, that was, um, <laughs> desktop courtesy of not your therapist. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Okay. I'm totally not. Okay. Anyway, um, <clears throat> this was from Full, Med Full Metal Han Hanyu. Hanyu. 
Um, that's totally the, um, totally the, I don't sleep with my shirt on, it's uncomfortable, face. And just like, why are you taking off your shirt? But don't put it back on, please don't put your shirt back on. He's just so cute. And I love, love when you guys draw him with it on his body. It's just like, yeah, I'm gonna bite you. <laughs> and must not look at that stuff again. <laughs> nice. Okay, this was from Dark Diva. Lacura. Lacura. I like the shading on this one, and of course, the concept of the fire in the background. And they're like, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you so much. But let's make out. Yes, let's make out. <laughs> and the shine on Dib's glasses is really epicness. And I like the burning heart in the background, too. It's just awesome. And see, this is something that I can never really do is obviously the light is coming from the back of them so you can see the light but in the front they're all shaded and stuff I'm, you know i'm so lazy with shading that most of the time i don't follow the rules of physics i'm just like i'm gonna put this shadow wherever the fuck i want to deal with it wanna fight about it so yeah i like the shading love it oh gif gif open it only takes a spark to start a fire. Sha sha sha. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. That's the spark, obviously, when they first met, and then it's a fire. It's a fire. <laughs> anyway, so that was from crap. Who were you from? You were from Red One Sixty Seven, and this is the cam the camel wolf. Zim, I need to tell you something very important. I love you. <laughs> I can just like see this happening too at some point too. It's like, um, obviously I'm not revealing anything from my comic because this doesn't happen, but it's like if they if they went on a walk, hypothetically if they went on a walk and it was all nighttime, per beautiful starry sky by the way, all nighttime and stuff, and they're sitting on the grass looking at the nice sky and Dib just be like, Zim, I need to tell you something very important. And Zim is like, what is it, Dib human? And Dib goes, um... Uh, what is it, Dibhuman? That, um, your shoe's untied. But my shoes don't have laces. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is from, uh, it's Shad Cream Forever? Forever. Because S. Anyway, this was also one of those that I am. Um, oh my goodness! I just I love this. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> I love it. Just ah, I love it. It's just the cute, the face. They're like, haha, this is happening. And the hair is amazing. It's amazing hair. It's just beautiful. And the style, I just love it. And I love it. And uh, the Hollywood pillow, totally censoring stuff. And it totally doesn't break the rules because it's still censoring stuff. And I'm like, yay! This is amazing. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> oh, I sound kind of stupid when I'm fangasming. Um, anyway, um, this is from Invader Zim 2012. Um, so basically, this was <laughs> Pouty Face, please, Dib. Fine. <laughs> please have sex with me. Fine. <laughs> and I love just, you're gonna see so much more of Dib's pouty puppy face that he doesn't even realize he makes. That's the best thing about it. He has no idea that he can make such adorable faces. You know, even in the show, I was like, Jonin, why you make Zim so cute? Because he's like, one example specifically is, um, I can remember, in uh, Fry Cook from Be uh, Beyond All That Space, um, when Sizzlor... <laughs> is taking off his mask and stuff and like he's putting on his name tag and stuff and Sim's like uh and he kind of looks away and then he looks up and his antenna are all like down and his eyes are huge it's so cute big puppy face it's so kawaii and i love dib's face too he's just like uh, okay <laughs> this is from akarui x midori um this was also one of those ones that i wanted to you know i just Wish that I had so much more to give and stuff. Sha sha sha! Okay, <laughs> sorry. And then so this is. I love 
the shading on the hair especially it's just so cute i love your style and also awesomeness and just playing with fire and whoosh the creation of the amazingness of the kissingness and the fire and the rainbows and the gayness it's so gay <laughs> love it so cute it's awesomeness and this was cartoon chameleons this is really fucking good idea so it's also another really 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 good idea <laughs> caution may contain extreme cases of heat <laughs> So this is if it was like an album cover. Obviously, since there um, are only chapter, uh, seven chapters released, um, she couldn't, you know, come up with all songs that would have to do with each chapter. Um, and this is a really good idea. I actually started trying to do this with all 20 chapters, and there are some where I'm like, er, I don't have a song that would pertain to this one. Um, so her songs that she chose, and you should do this too. This is really awesome. Um... Oh crap, let's see if I can pronounce this. Seeker Ross by Hip Hip Hippopola or something. I've never heard of any of these songs, just to let you know. And chapter two was I Think I'm Paranoid by Garbage. Chapter three is E. T. by Tyler Perry. Um chapter four is Shut Up by Simple Plan. Chapter five is I Like It Loud by Myamari. Mia Mia Mari, sorry. Um chapter six is Super Psycho Love by Simon Curtis, and chapter seven is Always by Sal Sal. Sorry, I almost said salvia. Dyslexic moment. Holy shit, that was really bad. Saliva. Like spit. <laughs> so, awesome. Album coverness is awesome. And I started doing that too, but I'm not going to like release it until, you know, later and such. After I have all of them. Anyway. And then, this is by Date Uchi Ha, 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 ha Princess. Ha Princess. And I like this one because, well, one, look, it's a book. It looks like a page is torn out. Not sure which page that would be. Um, they're holding hands. This is Mrs. Sowers in the background. I think that's me. I think. It's nighttime. I think there were supposed to be, like, subtle references in here, but I don't think I got all of them. There's a big white mound back there. But, yeah, it's cute. I love it. And the shading in the hair is really good. Oh! I did not notice this, but he only, he only has one contact in. That is awesome! Okay. This is from... Ow. <laughs> Urkin and Vader Maz. And I think, if I remember this correctly, I think they said that they did this all in Microsoft Paint. I'm very impressed. I've worked with Microsoft Paint since I was like six. And yes, I've gotten some okay stuff to come out of it, but this fucking looks like it was done in like... Photoshop or GIMP or something. It looks really good. <clears throat> Sorry. And I like it because it's like daytime and nighttime. It's like total opposites. It's like good evil. Ha <laughs> ha. And I also like the shading in the skies and stuff. And you can just kind of tell that they're kind of just thinking about each other. They're just kind of thinking about each other. It's so cute. I love it. <laughs> this is from the worst username. That is an epic, epic username. <laughs> um... So basically, they're sitting on to Earth, so on top of the world, hooray! And totally kissing and undressing each other while Dave is trying to stop Zim from using some kind of evil doomsday device. <laughs> like, I will love you as long as you don't destroy the Earth. <laughs> stop trying to destroy the Earth, Zimmers! <laughs> so this is cute, and I don't think Zim is minding very much. And this is from Ryo123. There's the I love Zader skipping that I still need to put on a shirt and I don't think they went off to get mm, ice cream milkshakes milk ice cream shakes <laughs> and a sunflower a heart sunflower and kissing some more I just love the kiss of kissing and Halloween apparently if you hate playing with fire get the frack out <laughs> it's so cute I love it so colorful um, this is Erkins for me. What time is it? 3.11? Okay. So, Dib, a dipster, the dib a totally looks like he's in control right here. You know, in, in a way, Zim is in control, and in a way, Dib is in control, because Zim is like, well, you gotta have sex with me in order for me to not, uh, to not, um, fuck, to not take over the world. And Dib is like, well, you can't take over the world if I have to have sex with you, and blah, 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 blah. So, 
Now, Dib looks like he's in control right here, and that's really good fire, by the way. Fire words. It's really good fire words. Zim, Zim's like, da -da, da -da -da. Oh, I like this one, too. I love the shading on this one. It's so cute. This was from Lizani. Um, I love the chibiness. And Zim's hair is so cute, and they've got the red, uh, red string of fate going on here. And I'm just sitting there with a the camera. And just click. Now take off your clothes. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Speaking of not your therapist, this is not your therapist entry. And this is another one where I was like, "Fuck, I can't choose," because it's so cute. So it's from chapter two, and it's like, it's like, well. Obviously, in chapter two, the only reason why Dib couldn't freaking sleep was because he got a massive <laughs> rager because Zim was inadvertently sticking his leg where his leg probably shouldn't have gone. <laughs> but not your therapist took kind of a different approach to it. Damn it! Now I have to pee. <laughs> and I, what I really love, I love, freaking love, her anime drawings. Just especially. <laughs> the bodies. I just, just love it. Are you still there? You're still there. <laughs> she knows how much I freak out over this kind of stuff, so it's awesome. Now I have to be. <laughs> Poor dipster. Um, <clears throat> this was Gara Lover two forty seven. <laughs> the Destiny Sea Slug. The Destiny Slug. And the sugar wobble in the background. <laughs> so I guess my girl probably attempted to eat the sea slug and um and Zim kinda has a soft spot for the sea slug and wants to save the sea slug. And we're like, oh you poor sea slug, I'm gonna save you. Just kidding, I'm gonna stick you in that tank with a sugar wobble and see if you guys fight to the death. <laughs> Next. Oh, 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 Invader Rose. I love this, because it was the only cosplay, and I was like, oh, yeah, the name. <laughs> you were asking for it, you with all your staring, and the cool thing about it is she makes a perfect Zim, because she's so <laughs> short and so cute, <laughs> and I'm just like, look at how meta, <laughs> but it also made me think about, well, I want to put together my Playing With Fire Zim cosplay, and it's like, I'm always looking at Zim cosplays, and even the good ones, I'm like, there's just something wrong with it. There's something wrong. Finally figured it out. It's hard for, for us to cosplay Zim properly because Zim doesn't have a nose. And we do. So I'm like, why can't we do the whole Voldemort thing and just be like, haha, nose be gone. But still, still, <sighs> wish we could just like morph our facial expressions. Be like, then, and only then, will I stop talking to myself. Next. This is Japanimo Girl! I like this one too because he also has fireballs! Ha! Huh? Balls. <laughs> so he's like, this one he also kind of looks more in control than the Zimster. Um, and that is wicked ass fire, by the way. It's just like, ah! Watch me throw this in your face! Kind of reminds me of the episode of Code Lyoko I was watching today where, where freaking um, Odd was uh, like, Jeremy activated his own tower and made Odd all like, you know, like, stuff, and they were like throwing energy balls at each other, and I was like, THE SPIRIT BOMB IS THE ONLY WAY TO DESTROY FRIEZA! <laughs> so, playing with fire, or er, sorry, <laughs> Dib, you gonna get burnt! <laughs> you gonna get got. Um, this was, um, I like Yaoi 25. I like this because, if I'm correct, this was their school project? Art project, I think? So, self-portrait right there, Zim with Tatard Gun 3000, Dib is like, oh my god, no, please don't shoot me, and I'm pretty sure that's a sugar wobble in there, and I think that's Goldie Puss in there. I like how the tanks are two different freaking colors, it's awesome. I, I always make the liquid in the tank the same color. I don't know if the liquid is pink or if the glass is pink. Whatever floats your boat. And then, playing with fire, PWF, right in the background. Woot woot, you know it. And then this is Daddy Duke. Daddy Duke. I'm just like, kissy, kissy, kissy. Oh my god, OMG, I totally don't enjoy kissing you, but I so do enjoy kissing you. So this is like the, um, looks like the doodle that, uh, Dib, 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 
Dib did a doodle. <laughs> Things he do. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I have to go to work today. Um, this was from uh, Kikeno101, and um, she did um, a traditional one. I think you saw it in my fan art folder video, but she then she did a digitalized one, and it's cute because it's the part where, but now we're not even. Then make it even. Glomp. <laughs> And the face is an XD face, and I love Zim's face right here. He's like his eyes, and he's so cute. He's like, ah, I'm a little shy right now, but I totally want you to fuck me. Anyway, <laughs> next, this is Lone Wolf 10,000. Dun 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 dun! Get it? Hot Zim, because he's on fire. Ha ha ha! Get it? Hot! Ha! <laughs> I like this because I like the styles of the eyes. It's just so cute, and there's a big-ass smile right there. He's like, I'm going to smile, and you're going to deal with it. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> that was it! No! <laughs> I'm so sad now. <laughs> I wanted to see more. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, so that was the Playing With Fire fan art contest. Um, aww. I think there is one that needs an honorable mention because they submitted it one day too late. Where is it? Where'd it go? Oh my god. Where the fuck did it go? Was that it? No. There it is! So, yeah. Um, Zim Fangirl 55 she knows she submitted this too late, but she showed me anyway, and I was glad she did because it's cute. It's like a picture! <laughs> and so, even though it couldn't be judged as part of the contest, I did want to give it an honorable mention because it's super kawaii this, and it was meant for the contest. So, honorable mention! Picture frame! <laughs> Say cheese, guys! <laughs> They're totally not wearing pants underneath that. Just kidding! <laughs> Aww. I'm so sad. So that was the Playing with Fire fan art contest. And I loved it. I want to thank everybody for all their hard work and time and effort and awesomeness. Awesomeness is awesome. Sweetness with a side of awesome. So, you guys ready for the new contest? Huh? 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 You ready? You ready? You ready? 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 Waffles. Yes, no, I didn't just say waffles just to be fucking random. Waffles, that is the next contest. What you shall do is you will either draw a waffle make a waffle eh, maybe you can write about a waffle but I'm really looking for um, for visual waffles um, you know do something with a waffle god damn it waffle may I write a poem about a waffle I don't know it's waffles the theme is waffles basically you can do fucking anything you want it's waffles <laughs> So there's really, the only rule is, again, you only get one entry. Um, I have not figured out the prices for the small contest right now. Yes, it is a small one because it has to do with waffles. Um, so waffles are awesome, and you make those waffles awesome. You guys show me some awesome waffles. Some, well, I can't say awfuls because that sounds like awful. So, some wassels. I can't, I can't merge awesome and waffle together. It's just not possible. So yeah, do some waffles, make some waffles, show me some waffles. We're gonna do some waffles, it's the waffle contest. Waffles doesn't have to be any kind of fan art, just give me some waffles! <laughs> do you like waffles? Yeah, I like waffles. Do you like waffles? Yeah, I like waffles. Do you like waffles? I told you I like waffles! Do 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 do, can't wait to get a mouthful waffles! Okay, I'm really hyper and I'm really hoping that the good manager is closing tonight. <laughs> um, yep, 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 contest. Thank you. Waffle contest. Do it. Let's see. Ending date for the waffle contest. Um, this is December 1st. I don't even care. December 1st. 1st of the December. December the 1st. Waffle contest. Go do it. It's awesome. Thank you for the winners. Meshes me and stuff for the prizes and stuff. And where the fuck is my recorder? There it is. Show. Show. Show it. Okay. Holy shit, Snacks, we've been doing this for a fucking hour. Thank you for holding on this long. I will try to edit it as best as I can. But sometimes I ramble. I'm still rambling right now. So thank you for watching. Raytana Station, out.
you are doing graffiti, how dare you! Bad Zim! Bad! 